We are hard for games, and this is an unreleased GameCube game on a development GameCube NR disc. It is Pickles, which is like this game about a monkey, and the more I see it, the more I think this was designed for all of you Glover perverts in the future. <laughs> so uh, I, I think if you love Glover, you're gonna you're gonna like pickles. Again, this one was never released. We did dump it, and the owner cake hoarder will be releasing it. Now, if you have been following the channel, pickles might sound familiar because we dumped a much earlier alpha version of the game a number of months back. Now that game was again very very early, but this one right here is a later build of the game. So when we had dumped that initial one, it was the first piece of software ever released mm -hmm. of Pickles. It was shown yeah. off in some like magazines, probably some trade shows, that kind of thing. Yeah, I found a few little posts on the internet back from like 09 where people were like, hey, remember this? Whatever happened to that? And mm. here we are, 2023, 2024, suddenly <laughs> just awash with Pickles content. The year, the year, the year of Pickles. Basically what happened was is that Cake Hoarder bought an NR reader. So this is a development GameCube. It can only read NR discs. It can't read regular retail GameCube discs at all. And vice versa. A regular GameCube cannot read this. Just like a regular uh, like DVD-ROM can't dump or read this either. It's a very yeah. specialized piece of software. It was a way to with. keep software in-house and that is like a security thing. Yeah. So he had bought one and then... Uh, opened it up and realized that Pickles was in there. And what a find, yeah. an unreleased game after buying an NR reader. So months and months later, gets dumped, all that stuff. He goes and he hooks up with the original developers, Santa Cruz Games, and they mm -hmm. handed him this a more finished, more polished version of Pickles. So Cake Hoarder ordered an NR reader on the internet and managed to get it with Pickles, but had ordered it without Pickles. So he went back to get rid of the Pickles and instead they just gave him more Pickles as comeuppance. I gotta say, uh, Santa Cruz Games, you guys sound pretty awesome. Yeah, so. exactly. So we got this thing dumped. We're gonna check it out today. We're gonna dive into it and mm -hmm. hope you all enjoy. You may have noticed already from our B-roll and also this gameplay segment that you are the monkey pickles and you are on a unicycle stacking up other monkeys and assorted critters to complete various objectives. Sometimes that means fighting or avoiding enemies. Sometimes that means just grabbing more and more monkeys and animals until you can reach something. Other times it's getting collectibles, etc., etc., etc. Kind of reminds me of the style of those single screen NES and arcade games from back in the day where it's like, here's the space you're in, here's your objective. Now, not every level is like that, but stuff like this kind of reminds me of it, but just sort of in a 3D plane. Also notice that when you attack the enemy, that number pops up and that's how many more hits they need, which is a massive amount, like nine yeah. hits with this sort of like, I don't want to call it janky aiming system, like it kind of auto aims, but a lot of them move. Oh, got some jank. <laughs> but a lot of them move kind of quick. Uh, especially the little guy on the go-kart there, a little hard to hit. I should also note that I bumped up the emulation memory, like, really high. Like, as high as it'll go. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, a lot of dev stuff, uh, you yeah. kind of got to do that. Come on. There you go. All the balloons are collected. A lot of you at home probably think, what is it like to play uh, a lot of these, like, beta games? And it's kind of like getting to see, like, a really early cut of a movie where everything doesn't quite click right. Yeah. You can see what they were going for, but it's like, you're like, eh, I can see where this could go. The special effects aren't there yet, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So again, the different animals can do different things. This one's tricky. You can't run into it because it'll get knocked off. You have to start the spin and then go. But you have to get through it fast enough that it doesn't get knocked by debris because then he'll get knocked and down. It's a little... Then you got to go back for stuff. It's finicky. Now you have to run into those. There you go. Oh, the turbo. Oh, yeah. The turbo. Yep, yep. Now take a close look at the background here because later we're going to be showcasing the differences between this version and the earlier build. Yeah. And there are some definite differences in each and every stage, but especially this one. It has trouble with the massive amount of jewels that, that fly yeah. everywhere. A lot of carnival-like like shooting galleries and stuff. Yeah, it is very carnival-esque. Wait, it gave you a number. Oh, you can destroy the machinery. Yeah, cease okay. the means of production. Are you seizing or ceasing the means of production? 
Yes. <laughs> I think I'm actually ceasing it right now. Ah. Uh, oh no, I soniced. I like how you drop those, but then like you don't have to pick them back up or anything. There isn't like a counter for any yeah. of these things. I would imagine in the final build of the game, some of this would be health or something like that, or you know, you get a certain amount, you get extra lives or whatever. Also too, for the most part, but not always, there's so much stuff that you don't have time to pick it up before it fades away. Oh, look at that. By attacking him, you actually got him to lift up the little cage. When I played it, you had to ring the bell to lift up the cage. Yep, see? So apparently there's multiple ways to free the uh, the elephant, which is weird that you can just fire yeah. and the elephant gets freed. In the pause menu, there's a lot of options, but most of them do nothing. First three really do nothing, sound, ambience, controls. But you can set to different areas. In this particular zone, there's only one area. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. in other in other zones, you can move to different parts of the level. But we kind of exit and just move on to the next stage. So if you take a look at this, this is basically uh, supposed to be Santa Cruz. And if we look over here, what do we have? Santa Cruz games. Hey! Ooh. There we go. Now you can fall off the boardwalk. I'm not sure if you can fall off this little catwalk tightrope thing. What is it with monkeys and momentum based? sort of driving things like monkey ball for example i mean monkey ball is like an absolute masterpiece yeah but it's like there's there's like a lot of monkey games where it's like i need to balance a monkey you know along a certain way not fall like deal with enemies it's a lot of monkey business a lot of monkey business so the next area is actually the multiplayer it's just a multiplayer arena as you can see there are two pickles lots of pickles yeah. flags probably like a collectathon or something yeah something like that if you start circling around, the camera starts going insane. Yeah, like oh it, boy. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do anymore. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like an old PS1 game where the hardest part is the camera. It also has sort of a slight Katamari feeling of just like globbing things onto yourself. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel nearly as good as Katamari, but I mean, no. I'm sure Katamari felt like garbage in early development, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it just slightly. Like if you were to combine Monkey Ball with Katamari, I, I think that like you kind of eh, sort of have this game. What? Look, okay. Look, 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 okay, look, look, yeah, look, 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 the air. So you may be wondering at this point, well, what are the differences between this version and the previous version that we dumped? This one is labeled 305. The other one didn't have a label. There are some dates when you take a look at it in a hex editor, but I don't know if those are reflective of a build date. Or yeah, not. yeah, that um, can be tough. I can flash. Sometimes it's like when different like SDKs were like made and such for the GameCube, and they have dates yeah. and such. Um, other times, like different things they used have dates. You know, um, it might have been referring to like this driver that's being used is this revision. Stuff. Yeah, it's so I'm not sometimes. sure what these dates are in reference to. Uh, they're you know a little earlier than this but yeah, i don't know um so anyways let's take a look at the differences between this version and the earlier version we dumped all right so first things first we actually have a little bit of an intro sequence in the new version which you saw before at the very beginning of the episode which is definitely a hey pixar come sue me strangely i should note both builds only come through in one channel of audio so here's the earlier version no intro no splash screens just a basic menu so here we have one of the first levels here. Again, this is the newer version. There's more to do here. We can pick up an elephant. We have more animals, etc., etc. You can see the placement of the monkeys here as well. You can shoot peanuts. You have the numbers when you hit your enemies. Here's the earlier build. You can see the monkeys are stacked up differently and they're all just monkeys. You, you can't get any other type of animal. The camera follows a little differently. It does. Notice here, I have yeah. I have a little aiming thing for my projectile. Not quite a reticle, but you know, kind of similar. It's not great, as we mentioned before, yeah. but it's a thing. <laughs> it's at least something. I imagine it would have been tweaked. Now, in the earlier build, I can't shoot anything other than bananas, which I kind of just have come out of my body and then limply fall to the ground. <laughs> you know, if I had eaten bananas and I was wobbling around like that, I'd probably have some bananas come out of me. Yeah, too. fair enough. The earlier version does not really seem as much like a game. 
Like, there's some playable stuff. Yeah, most of the, the levels you can't quote-unquote beat. So it's a little funky. Also notice how in the newer version it tells you what your objectives are. And there are objectives, whereas they're either more obscure or not mentioned in the earlier build. Okay, again, so this looks familiar. We have our rhino that we can utilize to hit these crates. In the earlier version, I'm actually pressing some of the buttons here to remove and add some of the reflective layers. I'm going to press the other buttons that aren't jump, and they have debug features uh, attached to them. So really, I can't do much else other than jump and move around in the earlier build of the game. But notice this big stretch here. No crates, no rhino. Nothing. Nothing. So back to the newer version. Look at the backgrounds here because they're going to be different. And look at our bulldog in our little sailor suit, as we saw before. The bulldogs in the earlier version are just bulldogs. That looks a little bit more like the Tom and Jerry dog. I can't yeah. remember his name. Yeah. He's got that stance like the two times pimpy, three times bait. <laughs> Notice here that it's pretty easy to get past these treadmill sections with the boost, the little zooming feature. This zoom feature doesn't exist in the earlier build, so you kind of have to maneuver your way off of them. It's a little bit tricky. There are more enemies here, and there's also all of these machines, including a lot of like smoke and stuff, and this weird sort of mangling machine thing that almost looks like a worm in the background. It's very strange. I think it's supposed to be like an exhaust or something like yeah. that. Also note here in the earlier build that there's this whole other section that you can access. We couldn't get up here in the, the newer version. And again, all of this machinery, etc., etc. In the previous version, there's that machine we need to uh, bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here, we're not bombing it because we can't. We're just sort of exploring around it. It's a little bit strange. So you don't actually go up onto it, at least to my knowledge, Yeah. in the newer build. But in the older build, you do. Just taking a look again, we have, you know, we're shooting bowling balls. We have those X's on the ground. Here, we don't really have those X's. We have some sort of like placeholder, like sort of texture over it. <laughs> Here, we also have a poison, which is kind of neat. Again, we don't have that in the earlier version. <laughs> we just have our bananas. Here we go. We can lift these things up, but we can't really do much with them. And because we don't have a boost in this version, it's hard to get up on there. I can ring the bell because I can stack enough animals. Or, as we noticed, we could also just attack that big elephant to get the little elephant. Yeah, I had to do it very quickly. It was like totally a glitch yeah. that I could do it at all. I was like, hey, I can just cheat this. Now, even though I can get the momentum to get up here, I can't get tall enough to ring that bell in the earlier build, so I can't actually get that trapped elephant. Here we see our sharks. Notice how they swing all the way up, giving you an opportunity to boost past them. In the earlier build, they don't have any sort of collision here. So we can kind of go right through them, but even if they did, it would be impossible to go through them because they don't really swing up enough to give you a chance and you don't have that boost feature. Now, lastly, for this stage, it's very laid out differently. It's much closer in terms of yeah. the camera to start off with. Um, in the earlier build, it's further away, and the level ends very quickly. You basically have to get to the lighthouse, which you can get to it uh, very quickly in the earlier build, but you can't actually, like, approach it. Because yeah. there's just, like, water that you can't traverse to get to it. It's a little, it's a little funky. It's a little funky Kong. Uh, so, like, for example, we get over here. In the newer version, we have these sort of catwalks, and we also have these jellyfish that you need to cross that will sink down if you spend too much time on them. Very surprisingly short amount of time. Yeah. And you can actually reach the lighthouse. A last difference being that the earlier build doesn't have a multiplayer mode. Mm -hmm. So that is Pickles for the GameCube. It is a shame we never got the final version, but at least we got the two versions that we can explore yeah. and mess around with. The shadow of what could have been is a little bit more filled in now. Exactly. And if you want to experience this for yourself, Cake Hoarder will be releasing it. And speaking of which, there's also an Xbox build Ooh. of Pickles that's never been seen, at least on our channel, that he covered on his channel. So definitely check that out and put a link yeah. to the video above and in the description below. Send him some love, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give him a big thank you for releasing 
pickles. And if you enjoyed what you saw here today, please subscribe. We're trying to get to that 100,000 subscriber mark. By the end of the year, we are so close. It's been mm -hmm. 15 years. <laughs> we are yeah. so close. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're on track to do it before for Christmas. I think so. But that means they're going to update the algorithm, so it'll take another two years. Yes, it'll take another two years, and they'll do one of those subscriber wipes they used to do. Yeah, they used where to do one you of those just every... get like 1,500 of just your gone. subscribers just gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoy. Google! We'll see you all next time. <laughs>